Hi, I will try to answer as quickly as possible. Okay, the first thing you need to create is the material, the world pass material. And it's very simple. You just press in the um, shader editor, Shift F3. You'll, you're going to get this window, and now you're going to press Shift A. And from here, you click here on search and type emission shader, which is this one right here that I have. You will probably have a different color scheme. That's another story for another day. And you connect that emission to surface. Obviously, you name the pass right here. I'm going to name it World Pass. And then you're going to get a geometry node. And you're going to get the position. I don't know if this is world position. I, I think it is. But you connect it here into color. And from color to material output. Now that your material exists, and it is named World Pass, your scene, your current scene, will have different render layers. You can um, create new render layers to get new passes. So each pass could be... could at could overwrite the entire layer. So once you have that, you have to switch here to cycles for the render engine, which is uh, the properties right here, properties, shift F shift F7. Um, this is the same window, so I'm having both open here so you can see them both. Cycles, and from cycles, you're going to come here to uh, passes, right here, and then override that override material, you're going to click it there, and everything in the scene is going to get your pass, okay? So that's it. Um, any more questions, you can um, ask me. And the compositor, which you will be needing it, has a property to use nodes, first of all. And once you render that, I'm going to press F12 just so this can get refreshed. And I have it right here. Oh, well, that's my camera. Let's re-render again. Uh, Control Alt Zero to make my view the camera. Then Home to you know zoom it all. And from the end menu, I guess you know this lock camera to view. So now you can navigate the scene through your camera with this F12 again. And now you get this um, because it's set to transparent. Of course, here on film, here on the this icon right here film transparent and now you get this and I guess this is going to work because it's got the, the the world position thing but what I wanted to show you was that once you get your render layer which was this right here is this one right here this is your scene this is your scene and this is your in this case view layer this is the view layer the only one you have here and you click that and it refreshes and now you need to shift a and now uh, I think it's file, yeah, file output. So when you get this file output, let me maximize this. So when you get this file output, you can directly connect this image, um, this image output port to this file input port. And obviously, you're going to choose your target here. And you can get more properties if you press N. And from there, you open up this property tab press the letter N and then you get this property tab now you can define the path you can define the format which I'm guessing you won't you will want to do open EXR and then finally um, you can add more inputs like add inputs if you have more render outputs so if all of your passes are already rendered you can then connect them and then write a single file from open EXR multi-layer to one single path I'll leave that to you because uh, you're working on, on that kind of requirement. So this is it. And once you, you're done with that, you need to render. So you just press uh, render. If you're doing animation, just render animation. And then the compositor will take over. This is something I, wanted, I have wanted to do a long time ago. How did different spaces override between each other? I know that probably is a big question because we have a video editor we have a, uh, a, a um, 2d space and also other rendering settings but it, it, it all makes sense I just need to find the time to explain all of those spaces so thank you